I'm Justin Whitman. I work for Stemel Ag Services out in Quincy. Tonight we're running the nighttime harvest. So the crews that we're running right now are three shifts, seven to three, three to 11, and then 11 to seven. So we're running 24 hours a day. The crews in the morning will pick without a ladder and clear out space for these guys to come in at night and pick. So we're able to clear out all the fruit, get it all out of the way, and then come in and take the slowest part of picking the tops and make it just as efficient as the other as picking with ladders. Um, other advantages that we've used on other machines similar to this one is pruning. We found that we can be about 10% more efficient with our pruning. Um, and the other added benefits of these machines, we're kind of finding new ones um, every every couple of days to find a new advantage, but. Primarily, it's being able to get the fruit off in a timely manner with the labor crunch and getting to our next variety. So it's hard to calculate exactly you know, how much fruit you would lose due to overmaturity. So in 2014 in particular, everyone has a pretty heavy crop and so we just transitioned from picking our gala crop into our sweet tangos. And off the bat, we, had a, we were kind of over estimate on our galas, about 10%, which is kind of industry standard right now. But we were able to plow through about 65 acres of galas within a week or so with the machine's help. And in previous situations, we weren't able to do it that fast. It'd probably take an extra 10 days or so. So that was a huge benefit for us. Another advantage we found out that working at night helps us with is with the temperatures this summer has been really hot and then we have to put our overhead cooling on, you know, sometimes as early as 11, 10.30 in the morning. So that leaves us for a pretty short day of picking. Well, when we can come in after the sun's kind of gone down, we're, we're comfortable with our cooling, we're able to get in a full you know, 10, 12 hours, depending on what time we quit, of extra work, which can be really beneficial. And with how bright these lights are, we're actually able to color pick as well. So it doesn't slow us down in any fashion as far as getting the crop we want put in the bin. Um, with the simplicity of you know, dumping straight into the bin, no conveyor belts and all that, we found as well that our bruising can be under control and uh, meet our similar expectations as we would picking from the ground or with the ladder at the same time. A few of the growing pains, it's new, uh, you know, management, um, workers, everybody's a little bit hesitant to start off at first. Um, it's hard to find workers to volunteer at night. Uh, night shift's always a difficult one, but once they kind of get used to it and get the idea under their belt, you know, they, we can find groups that are actually volunteering now for night, night crew.